Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a remote play from your PlayStation 5 to your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial, and it's going to allow us to stream our PlayStation 5s to our computer so we can play directly from there. Or even if you don't have a capture card and you'd like to record or stream, you can easily do it from here as well. And I think these are both really nice features. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set everything up. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do is have our PlayStation 5 open. What we're going to be doing is coming here. We're going to be coming to the settings for our PlayStation 5. To do this, we need to come to our dashboard, click up one. We're going to be coming to the right three times until we see the settings tab right here. We're going to be picking the X button to open this up. And here we're going to be brought into the settings of our PlayStation 5. From this point, we're going to be scrolling down here until we see the system tab, which should show up right here. We're going to be clicking the X button to open this up. And here we're going to be getting some different system settings for our PlayStation 5. What we're going to be doing is sticking on our menu here on the left. We're going to be scrolling down until we see remote play. And here the first option what we're going to be able to do is enable remote play. We need to click the X button to do this. And this is the very first thing we need to do for our PlayStation 5 to set up remote play. What we're going to be doing from this point is coming down one in our PlayStation 5 settings. We're going to be clicking link device. And here we're going to be able to see an eight digit combination code that we're going to need to be able to link our device to. So this is only available for about 300 seconds, so about five minutes. And what we're going to be able to do is use this code to link these devices together. So you will need this number a little bit later, or you will need to restart and get a different number a little bit later if it does count down too far. I will also mention and the method we're going to be doing in today's video on some devices, you will actually be able to log in. And if you log in using the same account that's connected to your PlayStation 5, you will not need to use this number. However, I would still recommend having this number on standby just in case you need it. So for me, it's going to be connected directly using my PlayStation 5 account, as you'll see a little bit later, but you might have to use this number depending on what you're doing. So what we need to do is go to any device that you want to start a remote playing to, and we're going to be going there and we're going to be installing the remote play application and we're going to be doing it from here. For today's video, I'm going to be using a Windows PC. However, it is very similar on a mobile device. And if there's enough interest, I will do a full dedicated video to stream PS5 games to your actual Android device. It's super easy to do and it's super similar to this. But for today's video, we're going to be continuing on a PC. So what we need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. We're going to be coming to the install this app section. And here we're going to be able to download and install the PS Remote Play application. So all we need to do is come here, click I agree to the privacy settings and the user agreement, then click download, and then our remote play application will download. From this point, you can just move this installer to a location where you can find it easily. For me, it's on my desktop right here. I'm simply gonna be double clicking to install this. Click yes on the pop-up that comes up for Windows. We can then select your installation language. I'm just gonna be leaving this as English. And then our file is gonna to start to download again and start to extract and install. From this point, we're then gonna to have to click next on this information right here. You can then select an install location. So for me, I'm just gonna be leaving it on my C drive. Click next. And then finally, we'll have to click install one more time. And then we're just gonna to have to wait while this installs. From this point, your app will be installed. We will have this checkbox here automatically set up to launch PS Remote Play. Click finish and then our Remote Play application is gonna finish. From this point, we will then have to log in and sign into our PSN account. So you can do that here. Once you've signed in, you will have to confirm and continue on the data you provide. If you would like to, you can also modify the settings here and choose what you want. From this point, you then need to select the device you would like to connect to. So for me in today's video, of course, we're gonna be connecting to a PlayStation 5. It will then give the extra information here that you basically need to set up remote play. We've already done that at the start of the video, so we can simply click OK. And then it's gonna start searching for devices via the internet. So basically looking for devices that are connected to our account. Now, eventually, after a little bit of time, it should connect to your device. I would recommend canceling any downloads or anything that could slow down your internet. From this point, it is also recommended to use an Ethernet cable for both the device you're trying to use and your PlayStation 5 so you have the best possible connection and latency. But just like that, you can actually see you're connected to your PlayStation 5. From this point, you can feel free to connect either a PS4 or a PS5 controller to your PC. Now, by default, when you're using a controller, it does need to be either a PS4 or a PS5 controller. However, there is software out there that you can use to actually spoof a PS4 or a PS5 controller. And then you can use something like an Xbox One or an Xbox Series controller with this. I've done a previous video where I show you how to do it. I'll leave a card on screen. If that's something you're interested in, I definitely recommend it. I think that's a super nice option. But from this point, you can see I can actually scroll around. Overall, the quality and latency is pretty good on this. Again, I would recommend using an Ethernet cable or something with a really good stable internet connection. This will help improve your experience a lot. And it's definitely enough to play games. It definitely doesn't look as good as a native PS5 on a good TV. However, it's definitely a nice to have. And I think this is a really cool feature. And for certain use cases, it's super handy. 
So this video is brought to you by me. Today I'm going to be sponsoring my own video at my new merch line. This is going to be the first t-shirt I'm going to be launching for the channel. It's a very nice quality print that you can get from Teespring. Everything is linked right below the video here and all videos on my channel. It comes in a number of different colors. You can get it in a hoodie, different women's style t-shirts, stickers. It'll definitely support the channel if you can check it out and I'd really appreciate it. Let's jump right into the video. So what I'm going to be doing is actually connecting my PS5 controller back to my PlayStation 5. And as soon as I do that, it will actually lose connection on the remote play application. You can see here the connection has been lost. From this point, you can feel free to redo the connection if you would like. So now by default, your PlayStation will actually be saved here. So you can connect to it a little bit quicker. So you'll no longer have to search and do the manual process all over again. From this point, as mentioned, there is a couple of settings here we can play around with. So what we're going to be doing is come down here to the bottom left. We'll have two options. One is settings and the second are controllers. I'm not going to be touching on the controllers too much in today's video. Instead, I'm just going to be focusing on the other settings right here. So here we can see our actually connected account. We can sign out here if you would like. And you will even have the option for text entry. So, so whenever you're entering text to use the connected keyboard on your computer, which I think is a really nice option. Above this here, we will also have the video remote play options. So here we have a couple things. The first thing we can do is set up HDR. If your display actually supports HDR, you can feel free to do it like this. You can also change some of the PS4 remote play settings. So you can change the resolution. So this is excluding the Pro. So you can go from 360, 540 or 720p. You can change the frame rate, so standard or high. So you have this option here. And then in the last tab, we have some information. So this will basically go over the version number and some other different things about your application. And it's as easy as that to remote play from your PlayStation 5 to your PC. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to click the join button. You can become a member of the channel for as little as one euro. It'll really help out the channel and push more videos in the future. You can click the join button right underneath any video on the channel to join the channel. And it's really easy to do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.